she had touched it. My facial hair, I mean. This is the toughest phase. Uh, the, the hairs are very coarse, very hard, very fresh, different lengths. So what's in it? What did I just put on my face? All right, according to the Amish, the Amish of beardcare.com, get it nice and warm and it kind of melts. And it's like butter. Like it, and I'll kind of show you guys the difference. The beard balm called Amish, Honest Amish. Um, okay, so I want to do a review on a product um, that I got. Honest Amish beard balm. And uh, came in this really cool burlap sack here. You know, really old timey. Uh, some leaflets, pamphlets about the product, ingredients and such. Uh, but inside, comes in this cool tin. I've had it for about three days. Um, this will be my third day applying it. I've only applied it for two days, but my wife honestly noticed a huge difference, like yesterday, or no, this morning, this morning or yesterday, and she had touched it, my facial hair, I mean, and she, she said it's noticeably softer. So what I was gonna do is, I'm just gonna uh, kinda scrub my face a little washcloth, um, take maybe a pea size, half a pea size of it. Like I said, I'm only at three weeks, so I don't really need much at all beard balm. Kind of apply it in, and then I do a, a small a light brushing with the um, boar bristle brush, and I'll kind of show you guys the difference. Uh, but like I said, works amazing, natural ingredients, smells good. Third day, it's only my third application, and this is a short beard, so it's, it's, it's in, this is the early stages, this is, it, it cooled down the itching a lot, made the skin feel a lot better, made the hair softer, less kinky. Um, supposedly it's actually like kind of a hair straightener involved or a hair relaxer involved, which causes the hair to be softer. In the process of the uh, oil, I'll read the ingredients too. But um, I'm gonna scrub my face quick and uh, really no need to film that part or have that part in this. So like I said, I just used a real hot washcloth um, kind of scrubbed out the beard and the mustache area and um, now I'm going to take the balm I take, I don't use much because like I said I don't have I said I don't have much of a beard that's it that's what I use put that in my palm rub it together get it nice and warm and it kind of melts and it's like butter like it seriously feels Really, really soft. Now I just want to get it all the way into the skin, through all the hairs. It kind of almost does on its own after a minute anyway. I almost want to put more on because it just it feels so good and it smells so good. But I won't. I won't attempt to not use up all my product in no time, especially with such a short beard. Which someone would say that because of how short my beard is that I shouldn't be one doing this, but I say the opposite because this is the toughest phase. Uh, the, the hairs are very coarse, very hard, very fresh, different lengths, um, and the, the skin is not used to it. So I would say this is the toughest phase in the phase where the balm and the oils and things like that really kind of do the best job or, or, or need, or the most needed, I would say. So this is after. I've used the balm and it feels way softer. It has almost like a shine to it. Um, it smells good. I don't know how well you can pick it up um, over the internet on YouTube, but great product. I would say overall, it's a great product. My face feels a lot better. Um, I think yours will too. Um, my wife likes it, which that's a huge positive, I would say, in any man's book. Your significant other, whoever it is, a girlfriend, a wife, or whatever, um, you're gonna get some positive feedback from them, in my honest opinion. Anyone who thinks it might be a good idea, get a can, try it out. It's not a monthly subscription-based thing. It's not gonna go every month, you can get one can, one. I believe it's two ounces, um, which is a pretty good amount. It's gonna last a while. 
if you do like it and want to stick with it and use it. Uh, but my opinion, great product. I absolutely, uh, like I said, this is only the third application, third day I had it, and world of difference. Face doesn't feel like it's on fire anymore, it smells good. It's honestly, after the first application, the very first application, um, made a difference. The hairs were smoother, they were softer, uh, less kinked back into the skin. And with a short beard like this, it's just, it's, it was a nightmare. Literally, this is the first product I've ever used. And today's the third day and huge difference. Um, I'm gonna review other stuff if I try out. I haven't tried any beard oils yet, um, waxes, anything like that, or other bombs by other companies. But Amist Amish, great product. Uh, all natural and organic, who knows, really. But they say they are, uh, and it does seem that way. So what's in it? What did I just put on my face? All right, according to the Amish, the Amish Beard Care .com, the description is, Honest Amish Beard Balm is created with the finest natural ingredients available. We start with the proprietary blend of hair strengthening botanicals infused with a base of virgin argon, avocado, grapeseed, virgin pumpkin seed, the apricot kernel oils. It is then masterfully crafted with fruit and nut butters, shea, aloe, cocoa, cocum, to name a few, and hair enhancing essential oils. It will help soften, condition, repair, dry split hairs, um, dry splitting hairs and nourish new growth. Our balm is also very conditioning for your skin and will help stop the itching caused by new growth and will and wild rogue hairs. This is a two ounce tin, approximately six milliliters. We have other sizes available in our shop. Okay, so that's a basic description. Um, actually a fairly in-depth description of the product. And I'll kind of show you guys the difference. Uh, but like I said,